One, two, three, go! <laughs> and a two-kilometer race would start in style. This expecting mothers would brace the morning heat just to ensure that they made history as pioneers of the first group of pregnant women who took part in the marathon. It is a marathon that looks at ensuring that women like them access quality health care, thus reducing the rate of maternal and infant death. They are well familiar with the health system in the country that have time and again failed expecting women and the future can only be rectified through such initiatives. The race will not only feature women as children too would participate, some so young, others old enough to run in a race that will ensure that their future generations access improved health care services. And when the race became too difficult, some would walk slowly, hoping that they would get to the finish line soon enough to get a rest. As they finished the race, some would instantly seek for refuge on the ground, while others would go straight to the Philips Kenya camp, where they would get free ultrasound scanning. Basically what we try to do is also educate. So we're also explaining to ladies how before and after giving birth you should not only look after yourself but also what kind of scans you should do because one is not enough. So we're in discussion with the first lady to see how we can improve access and quality of care. And we know that in Kenya, unfortunately, uh, the, the mortality rates related to giving birth are, are quite high. And with an ultrasound scan, a regular follow-up, this is one of the best ways to actually actively reduce this. The prenatal screens will go a long way into ensuring that the women detect any abnormalities in their pregnancy to enhance early interventions. Salome Moirore, Switch TV. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>